the book that I'm reading right now, guys, and I'm really having a hard time with books, is Moonwalking with Einstein uh, by Joshua Four, And it is about basically techniques to improve your memory. I don't know. I think I got spurred into that because I think I heard Jared Diamond talking about uh, the memory, memory systems of uh, natives from, uh, is that the right word, from Papua New Guinea, and how uh, they have a memory of, I, I forget what it was, I think it was like 1,400 different animals and their habitats and their habits. And uh, I am somebody that, that is always constantly forgetting the names of fish and birds that I see every day. And I have a book that I can look at. So, you know, like when I go to memorize something, uh, you know, I, I'm going from the written word. So pre-literate cultures have a different uh, memory. So that kind of drew me into thinking about stuff. Uh, and I kind of followed that click path down and I... Um, I, I, I think I found this book. This book is about improving your memory. So there are techniques where people prove, improve their working memory. Like say, if you were to look at a uh, page with 250 numbers, most people are gonna go between nine and 12. Like that's how many you're gonna do. If you have a minute to look at it, you'll you'll remember that. But with this training, people. Uh, Memorize in a short period of time like 200 and something numbers in, in the same period of, time, uh, period of time. I find that fascinating. I love to imagine how that the world works. Uh, I like to think that we have the ability to change and grow, so I find that fascinating. I'm like a quarter of the way through of it. <clears throat> I personally have not really improved my memory. I do sort of watch my memory work, and I'm doing something with the, uh, practicing a memory palace, which is kind of what... Uh, uh, like Socrates did to me memorize his uh, uh, speeches where you basically have a geographical thing like a building or palace or in this case a boat uh, and then you place people visually inside that geographical representation in your head uh, and that's supposed to help you remember stuff. I don't know. I do that with my customers on my boat and all I do is I sit there and go, there's a guy on my boat and there's like a guy sitting in my head in another boat and I still don't remember his damn name. So I don't know if that's gonna work, but that's the book I'm reading and I do find it interesting, if not effective as of now. Um, I was, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm doing like <clears throat> this kind of based on the form of the five bullet Friday, but on a verbal scale, uh, whatever. Um, so I think he talks about gear that he has. I don't know, man. I don't have a lot of gear. I mean, I do have gear, but uh, I'm more like going to tell you what I'm thinking about buying uh, and my thoughts on it just because that's where I'm at. I'm really interested in that. Uh, there's a Muse meditation EEG machine. It's like 250 bucks or something like that. And you put it on your head and you look like you're in Logan's run and it gives you like biofeedback on your brain. Uh, and my thoughts on it are this. I've gotten a lot of insight from meditation. I find it to be also incredibly difficult to stay motivated and like not kind of plateau on it. It seems that some of the best, um, great thinkers out there do utilize meditation. So if this is a gimmick with a placebo effect and it helps me meditate, I don't know, for however long, that's, that's uh, comparable to a $17 yoga class. I haven't got it, you know, I don't know. I mean, it might be some hokey kind of BS thing, but it's called the Muse and the Muse 2. So I'm really thinking about that. If I do get it, I'll update it uh, and let you guys know. Uh, but that is the kind of gear that I'm focused on. The podcast that I'm listening to, like I, I am kind of delving back into the news. So I am listening to the daily. Uh, I a lot of times avoid the news, but when I do read the news uh, or listen to the news, because I'm a really big audio fan. I do it almost to vaccinate myself against the crazy negativity of current events. It's just something like I mostly gear towards science and I have, you know, my favorite science-y uh, podcasts and then some more spiritual ones. But lately I've been trying to listen to the news and not react. Because, I mean, there's a part of me that wants to be a reactionary leftist Eh, maybe, unless I'm listening to leftists and then maybe I'll be a reactionary centrist. But it's really hard because you're really just looking for uh, 
you're you're trying to be validated. I don't know. It's a very different way. So I'm listening to daily. That's what I'm listening to. Uh, you know, I watch the presidential debates. I don't know what to tell you, man. Uh, it, it's a hard spot to put your brain in. Uh, I'll go back to geology soon. Okay, uh, I don't even know if that's how many there are. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know, it's Friday. I'll go back and read my email. Let me go read this. Let me go. I'm going to watch this and see if I can record the sound.